Hello everyone, this is Admiral Plerovsky bringing you Atlantic Fleet Single Battle Lisette Il 23rd of October 1943 The blockade runner Munsterland and her escort sail out from Brest Historical outcome, Sharab de Sunk And this time we are taking the German side, German Navy um, The plan is pretty simple we figure out, so that's where the Sharabdi is. Five degree turn, make smoke. I think you can probably see where this is going. <laughs> Flank, smoke, move. I'm going to overwhelm them basically. That's that's what that's what the um, the strategy I'm I am taking here. Overwhelm them. Swamp them with torpedo boats and, well, they can't sink all of us, right? I do not think they've got the time to do that. They could even go for the Munsterland, or the, the large freighter, I guess. You never know. They could do. They could do. It's, it's possible. Large freighter, um... Mm, flank and harder port and try and get out. Hide behind the smoke screen. That's why I'm turning you to port and not to starboard. Here we go. Oh, move all. They're not even firing at us. How considerate. Let's continue closing in. And you also continue closing in. They will eventually fire. I don't think they'll let us get right up to them and then start firing. I do think if they don't fire on this turn, they're going to fire on the turn immediately after. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of expected really, to be quite honest. Well, that's good though, we can get the Munsterland out perhaps. Oh, here we go, Starshell. Now a broadside. Oh, wow. And they... I have no idea who they were going for with that one. They could have been going for the torpedo boat, they could have been going for the Munsterland, the merchant ship. Rocket puts a star shell up, only to discover that there's just a bunch of smoke everywhere. Star shell not really going to do much for you in that respect. Although you never know, they could get lucky. Obviously I hope they don't. <laughs> I hope they don't, because if they get lucky, that means I have to get unlucky to maintain balance. And I don't particularly like the idea of getting unlucky. To continue to turn. I want to see who they're going for though. These shots should be more accurate, I think. I do believe they are going for the Munsterland, the large freighter. Rocket fires with two guns, again at the Munsterland. But they can't ignore the torpedo boats for long. They have to eventually at some point realise that these torpedo boats pose a danger in the form of torpedoes. and. To a lesser extent, guns. I'm trying to think, could we potentially sink the Sharabdi if we, you know, turned all the torpedo boats, all guns on the Sharabdi, if we, you know, broadside after broadside, could we do it? I'm trying to think if we could or couldn't, or if it, if it would just be too much to ask. Oh, are they turning away? We don't want them to turn away. Oh, that was a really good salvo. That was a really good salvo. I have to give them that one. Munsterland must have slipped beyond the smoke screen. Yeah, clearly. Well, it's been hit. Actually, no. Let's continue forward with this one because we can actually see the distance of the Sharabdi with this one. Continue making smoke. you 
also continue making smoke. Um, can we see the Shower of Deep? We can. Good. I guess we could just check the damage when it's time to move the large freighter then. It's also an option. No, we can't see the... Yeah, we can't see the, um, the distance here. So let's check the... Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Triple A with light damage. No, really not too bad at all. Let's make smoke. T27 as well. Me make smoke. What are they going to do? Oh, we need to move the large freighter first. Continue turning to port. We're behind this smoke screen now, so I'd, I'd like to think, at least in theory, that we there is some protection now. And then, of course, once we turn away from them fully, we can um, we can just just you know forwards and hope for the best. Although a hit on the stern like that is probably going to upset the steering and or propulsion, at least to some extent. Continue making the smoke. Pretty, pretty boring, I think, at first. At first, th this type of strategy is a bit boring, I, I will admit. But it's all building up to one climax. Climax, of course, when the torpedoes hit their target. Or at least, well, I guess when they're launched. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So go hard to port. Continue to run away as best as you can. Annoyingly, the Sharabdi, however, is running away from us. But we have put the fires out. When are they going to fire at the torpedo boat? Oh, here we go. They've realised that there's a, a torpedo boat right here. How far away is the rocket? No, you're going for the Sharabdi. I'm sorry, but... Mm -mm. No. You are going for the Sharabdi, the light cruiser. Torpedo boat here at 4,100. We could perhaps go for the... Um... Yeah, I think you're the closest one. Yeah, you can, you can keep an eye on the destroyer. I just want to point blank range one shot kill them, I think. So then we can focus without interruption on the um the light cruiser. Can we see how far away they are? Not yet. That's not a problem. They'll get really close to us anyway. I'm sure we'll have ample opportunity to um to torpedo them. Although that will mean that um the, the torpedo that I use for sinking the rocket will only have two torpedoes. They're turning. They're firing at one of the torpedo boats and they've scored a hit on the bow. Here we go. Right. Oh, that's no good. That's not good. Nope. How far away are they? Very close. What's been hit? I knew it. Pumps and four torpedo tubes with heavy damage. We have got half torpedo tubes, however, which can sink them. Uh... Yeah, I think we'll have to use this one then. Let's move, turn in, and hope we're close enough. We're not close enough, are we? We have three torpedoes. These aren't going to be enough to hit them. 
what I'm going to have to do then is just pelt them with high explosive shells. We'll go 4.2. Fire. This one, however, we're really close to. Propulsion pumps heavy damage to AAA with light damage. Right, we can use the T23, however, to redeem ourselves somewhat. I just hope we're not too close. Oh, would you want to risk that? Oh, oh. Um. Maybe right on the stern, perhaps. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Are they going to hit us at this range? Five, let's say four over here. It's a gamble. I hope it pays off. Well, the gamble paid off all right. The rocket is now sinking. We will check the damage, of course, on the rocket. Propulsion pumps, forward torpedo tubes, aft torpedo tubes, heavy damage, triple A light damage, X turret destroyed. But now, however, we can focus on the big prize, which is, of course, the light cruiser. We're getting closer to them. I didn't realise we had six torpedoes. I, th I thought these only had four. But that they could reload. That they had, like, a, a large number but only, um, only four to launch um, immediately, you know, ready. Right, large Fraser can move along. Oh, they're launching torpedoes as well. It's exciting times. Exciting times. 8,600 away. Do we slow you down or not? Oh. Alright, I'll slow you... I won't slow you down completely. For the simple reason that you still have to close in and fire. Alright, eight and a half thousand for the Sheriff. They're all really close. We can resume our smoke screen. You can also do a slight turn. Just make sure there's nothing I can... Yeah. yeah, if we can't see them, they're too far away to, to hit us. And these, this one is just too far away overall. Easily be able to react in time with if the T26 is in danger. This one will just move forward. And we will move the... Oh! Triple A with light damage. We'll move the Munsterland away. Right, I think, dare I say it should be fine? Somewhat? Oh, here we go. Oh, that's close. That would have been, those shells would have been really noisy for the crew of this, for the T-22. Really, really loud. Keep closing in, though. Keep closing in. Do what you've got to do. Keep going. Overwhelm them. Completely swamp them. Oh, I forgot to check underwater for the torpedoes. Right, we're close now. That's what we are. Is that the rocket? It is. Right. We're very close to where the rocket was sunk. If we could launch torpedoes, that would be a point-blank range shot. 2,300 yards. Right. Um, yeah, Munsterland, you continue to run. The best as you can. Oh, be careful! Careful, careful, careful. Right, we're fine. No! That was two hits. Oh, 
We're really feeling the pressure now. Steering, pumps, heavy damage, AAA with light damage. Continue to close in. Right, six and a half thousand now. We're close, that's what we are. Very close. 4,600. It's time for the T25 to launch torpedoes. Hard or starboard? 4,000. We should be fine, I think. Right, here we go. This is the exciting part. Uh, let's see. I'm tempted to launch all six. 2.5 hits them straight away. Uh, let's see. I reckon if we go 5.5. And then we go 7.5. Uh, go on, let's do, let's even do 9.5, yeah? Yeah, I think they'll reach 9.5. Here we go. Fire away. I'd like to think these will hit. Uh, that's torpedo. We can just move forwards, I think. We'll clear it that way. There we go. 7,400. We're close. We're close. Uh, Munsterland, you continue to move away. You're pretty much safe now. So their torpedoes have, have missed us. They're not going to do any damage to our ships. Oh, they've turned. They've turned, all right. That's what they've done. But our torpedoes are going to... Mm, it's two hits. It's two hits, but they're in awkward places. So I don't really like them. What's been damaged? Propulsion, heavy damage, pumps, heavy damage. Um. Yeah, we can't... We can't turn, so... We're a bit stuck, really. Yeah. Continue to close, I guess, because that's all we can do. Uh... You continue to close in, because we've got the other torpedo boat that's ready to um, launch more. Two thousand nine hundred, and they're not going very quickly. Have we got their steering damaged? No, they can still turn, but it's not looking good for them. What we'll do then is we will um, we'll put right, one right where they are, right over here, and then we'll put I think. One degree increment either side. So that pretty much no matter where they go. Actually, no, we'll put one over here as well. That way they have to get hit with something. Far away. Those aren't going to hit straight away, are they? No, they're not. That's fine. 20 degrees, make smoke. Continue making smoke, you close in again. Uh, Munsterland, you run away. I want to see what their response will be. Will they try and dodge or will they accept their fate? They're moving, Ah. Oh. They're trying to run, but it didn't really work for them. Here come the torpedoes. 
Why did these not sink them? I'm confused. What's just happened? Did they sail right past? Oh, only one of them hit. Oh, they're being annoying like that. Very annoying. Right. You go to flank. Starboard 30 then. Oh, can we even launch torpedoes? We cannot. I tell you what then. The only thing we can do... High explosive shells and hope that that sinks them somehow. Fire. That's not gone well. You go to port then and you launch some torpedoes then. Oh yeah, you sank the... Oh, I'll tell you what then. You launch all your torpedoes. You'll have sank the rocket and you'll have sank the Sharabdi. The hero of the um, engagement, it would seem. The T-23. 97 and we'll have 98 as well. And there we go. Far away. Right, I'm just hoping that the... Um, you don't have any left, do you? No. Do you know what? Open fire on them. Open, literally open fire on them. Shoot at them with your guns. 2.3 is suggested, let's go 2.1. Fire. Let's do it, because why not? <laughs> Get right up close to them and tell them what you think. <laughs> yeah. It is, that's what we think. Yeah, you get really close as well. Ram them! Ram! Yeah, ram them, that's the one. Right, here we go. They're gonna move now. They've missed whoever they were aiming at. Here come our torpedoes. Magazine detonation, just to finish things off. Fireworks from the Shar Sharibdi. What was the damage? Propulsion, pumps, sea turret, starboard torpedo tubes, heavy damage. X turret, Y turret destroyed. And we can't even see them sink. I know we can. If we turn around, we can. We will probably... Should we watch them sink? I think so. If you, if you get a magazine detonation like that, you're not going to hang around for a long time. I mean, you can tell this was an Admiral Playerovsky video because the pumps were damaged consistently. But just in case you had any doubts, here's a magazine detonation to finish things off. They're sinking surprisingly slowly for a ship that's had its magazine detonated. I will be honest. I thought they'd sink a little bit quicker than this. Still going under at a reasonable pace, though. We, um, we'll probably have to um, pick up some survivors, maybe. Oh, this is, they're sinking stubbornly. This is, yeah, the waves will rush over them, but then it'll come back like that. So the Sharabdi will take a lot longer to sink than you might first estimate. Right, just just about you can just about see the bow hanging out, the um the flagpole at the front. Oh, she wants to stay, but she can't. The rest of the ship is already submerged. Go on, just about still sticking out just a little bit. 
See, it's come back, it's gone, and then the trough of the wave comes, and you can still just about see it poking out. I think, though, that it no longer is pointing out. I think it's sunk completely now. Yeah, I think she has. Yeah, it's, it's gone under completely now, I think. Yeah. Right, let's press done. Action report. On the British side, the light cruiser Charabdi was sunk for 5,600 tonnes. The destroyer rocket was sunk for 1,692 tonnes. On the German side, the torpedo boat T-22 received medium damage. Seemed a lot worse than medium damage, but anyway. The torpedo boats T-23, T-25, T-26 and T-27 all received no damage at all. And the merchant ship large freighter, or the Munsterland, um, blockade runner received medium damage, a score of 7,292. And that is all from Admiral Playerovsky for this video. If you enjoyed the content I pr make or put out, leave a like and subscribe. If you have a custom battle suggestion that you would like to see me turn into a video, drop a comment below and your suggestion will be up within a couple of days. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.